like, um, I, I have the same philosophy when I attack a single leg. But my whole thing with a single leg is I like to attack the back leg. And the reason I like to attack the back leg is because when he's in a sugar foot stance here, I'm going to do the same little tug thing. And as he tugs, boom, I drop down. Now, I know a lot of people, they'll step, they'll shoot. The goal, whenever you get in on a single leg, is to drive, get your head in the ribs, drive into him so you can get to the, the leg and then finish it. I got that once in my career, and it was an accidental thing. In the finals of the World Cup, the Russian went to shoot on me, and I went, oh! And there was, a, there was an ankle. I stood up, and I took the guy down. And then I know in 1984, in the regional Olympic trials, I was going 149, I remember, I shot in, I got a guy with a high crotch. In 1988, I was at some judo tournament to watch, and they ended up talking me into competing. The guy stood straight up, I hit a double. So if anybody says I didn't score um, on my feet, they're full of crap. I hit all three takedowns, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but, right in here. One, once I tug right to here, I drop. Ideally, I want my head here, but every competitor, when they get in this position, what's the first line of defense? Sprawl and, all right? How many people have been here? Raise your hand. How many people there got extended and were singing the same thing in the back of their mind? This sucks. All right, so we never want to have two hands on an arm. I know some coaches reach it and post and then try to spin. You know, sometimes you'll be spinning for quite a while and get dizzy. Other people say to get the elbow and try and get it behind the cap. A good guy's not going to let you. They're going to keep pulling and, and pivoting it out. The easiest thing that I have found is to use one arm. If I use one arm and I get my hand on the shin, right in here, now when he sprawls, I have a post. So he can wizard and he can sprawl. And now he can sprawl. And now he can sprawl. Right? He can't really sprawl. Here, he can sprawl. I have no post. So, what I want to do, anytime that I am in there, I want to hook the shin. I want to pose. I want to know what's going on. Now, if the guy puts the left hip down, uh, now the left, right to here, it makes it easy for me to step and use my head to come into a double. Most wrestlers square their hips up. But if you watch MMA, Ultimate Fighting, nine out of 10 of those guys always put their left hip down more as opposed to squaring off. The wrestlers really square off, but all the jujitsu guys, you know, they have a tendency of putting the, the, the near hip down because they were preached, you know, preached to that that's what you do. Now, here's what I do not want to do. I do not want to step up here and get splayed off. I want to have my head follow by keeping my head up at the hip, and then I go to the double. So, what I want you doing, you're going to attack the back leg by tug and drop. When he sprawls and wizards right to here, all we're going to do, defensive guy, put the left hip down right to here. Boom. I should say put the near hip down, the near hip. Whatever leg he has, turn that down just a little bit more for the defense. Not that that's what I want you to do, but that's what a lot of people do. Then we'll go over if they square off, kind of take them to his back with a couple other, in a couple other ways. Any questions on the tug, tech, back leg? Now, here's the thing with that. As he is stepping, I'm dropping. I look pretty fast, didn't I, for a senior citizen? All right, with your partner, let's go.